This is the Scoop for Friday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. Police in Orlando say two people have been killed and six others have been wounded during a Halloween celebration. The city's police department says in a social media post that it was conducting an investigation into a shooting in the downtown area. WTVT reports that the police chief says the victims were shot while hundreds were celebrating Halloween in public around one o'clock this morning. The chief says a 17-year-old suspect was being interviewed by detectives. The city of St. Petersburg will spend about $6.5 million to clean up and protect Tropicana Field. That's the home of baseball's Tampa Bay Rays. It was heavily damaged by Hurricane Milton. The translucent fiberglass dome of the ballpark was shredded by the storm three weeks ago, leaving in doubt whether it can be repaired in time to open next season. Major League Baseball wants the Rays to play home games in the area if the ballpark is not ready, perhaps at one of several spring training sites. The St. Petersburg City Council voted yesterday to approve two contracts with firms to clear the pieces of roof that litter the ballpark, remove damaged turf, and waterproof numerous areas to protect against rain damage. A complicating factor is the city's plan to construct a new $1.3 billion ballpark that would open in 2028. It's part of a much larger urban revitalization project that was approved earlier this year. Some areas of Tampa Bay are still picking up debris from Hurricanes Helene and Milton. WMNF's Chris Young reports they're still a long way to go. St. Petersburg has removed nearly 400,000 cubic yards of debris. That's enough trash to fill more than 4,000 swimming pools. About a third of it was materials like flood-ruined drywall and flooring. The rest was vegetative debris like trees and plants. Pinellas Public Information Officer Dave Connor says the county estimates the storms generated about 1 million cubic yards of debris. And uh, so far, our crews have been working very long hours, both our contractors and also we've trained our own staff. And they've removed about 171,000 cubic yards of debris. So you can see by comparing those two numbers, we do have quite a ways to go. In unincorporated areas, the county is responsible for picking up the trash. In Hillsborough County, residents can report debris and waterways. Find out how to report hazardous waste or construction materials floating in water at WMNF.org. Chris Young, WMNF News. Election Day is Tuesday. That's the last day to vote. You can turn in your mail ballot to a supervisor of elections office in your county anytime until 7 in the evening on Tuesday. In-person early voting ends this weekend. You can vote early until Sunday in these counties, Hillsborough, Pinellas, Sarasota, and Polk. But early in-person voting ends tomorrow in Manatee, Pasco, Hernando, and Citrus counties. Bella Nowak voted yesterday at a Pinellas County early voting site in Gulfport. I live on Treasure Island, so we got flooded. So there is a lot of work, and I just wanted to make sure I will be able to vote. So we've decided to come today. Hurricanes Helene and Milton severely impacted Treasure Island. To help assist voters after the storm, an Election Day voting precinct moved from the Treasure Island Community Center to Temple Bethel of St. Petersburg. Noack says early voting was her best option. I would say it was very smooth, easy, very good location. They're very well prepared, so I'm really happy with that. Another voter, Gulfport resident Jan Burlew, agreed. It was very quick and easy. On Election Day, you have to vote at your assigned precinct, but to vote early, you can go to any of the sites in your county. Find out more about when and where you can vote at WMNF.org. It'll be partly cloudy and hot today with highs in the high 80s tonight, partly cloudy, overnight lows in the high 60s. And tomorrow, mostly cloudy, breezy and hot with highs in the mid 80s. There's a slight chance of a rain shower tomorrow. I'm Sean Canaan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop. Record at WMNF Tampa.